doing some dry cleaning machines, I guess you could say. Pressing machines. This is where you put your nice slacks. It's <laughs> like the, uh, what was that? Um, the old uh, Three Stooges scene when they were at work in the dry cleaners. This reminds me of that. Well, this is quite the endeavor. You know, I never thought we would own a dry cleaners, but uh, we made the purchase last year, right at the beginning of the coronavirus. And it was always our intention to knock down the building for tour bus parking for all of the uh, tour bus companies that came to town to see our shows. Well, God had a different plan, of course. You can't knock down a building and put parking in for tourists that aren't coming during a pandemic. So uh, it was my mom's wild idea to keep the dry cleaner open so of course we don't do any of the dry cleaning there that's why andrew's ripping out all of the old equipment and selling it for scrap metal outsource all of the dry cleaning so they pick up and drop off and we're open a few days a week so that the community can still have a, a dry cleaners obviously and uh, I've dry cleaned my clothes here at this dry cleaners for I don't know 20 years probably and so it's something that, uh, that we're not going to get rid of anytime soon but the back part of the building that portion where they did the dry cleaning years ago is going to be all ripped apart we're going to pave it so that we're gonna have a little extra parking maybe and uh, maybe a little courtyard for our Inn on Central. So stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot of uh, demolition videos and uh, you'll be able to see what the finished product's gonna look like. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun.